Hello. Greetings. I hope everybody is doing well. I wanted to uh, talk to us today uh, about um, the things God will not do or like, uh, for instance, or for example, some people who maybe have um, addictions or um, to maybe tobacco products or marijuana, liquor or whatever, um, of course, or those who have <clears throat> who are in illicit affairs uh, with individuals and they'll say, well, um, God will take, the, take it away from me when he get ready for me to, uh, like, God will stop, um, if, when, when he gets ready for me to stop smoking or whatever, he'll take it away from me or when he gets ready for uh, me uh, and Johnny to, um, to break up He'll break us up, or, you know, something like that. But the Holy Spirit, but God does not do that. He does not make us stop doing things. He, he has given us his word. And this message is for believers and unbelievers alike. But he has given us his word, so we are not ignorant of what he expects of us. Um then it's up to us to work out our own salvation, excuse me, our own soul salvation with fear and trembling. It's up to us to examine ourselves on a daily basis um, to know if we're in the faith or not or whatever it is that we are doing. Is it correct or incorrect? Um, <clears throat> he's not going to just s s take something away from us. It's it's. It is our responsibility to do the right thing. And it, it's a struggle sometimes. It is a struggle sometimes for us to do the right thing. But when, but, what, but that is what he expects from us. And, and, and it, it's not a, you know, because some people like uh, think it's a sin. <clears throat> sometimes you are tempted, okay? But if you, you, it's not that you are tempted is a sin. It's the follow through of the temptation that brings us into sin. We all sometimes a thought will come through our mind, or, or you know, we think. Okay, there's sometimes we think some something, or or whatever. But that that wasn't the sin, you know. Uh, it's when you follow through it is a sin. Although Jesus does say when you think of to have relations with a woman in your heart, you you have committed that uh, adultery or whatever. But um, other than that, I'm not uh, contradicting his word or anything like that. But I'm just telling you that um, it's when you have, uh, you know, it's when you thought the thing, the, the wrong thing, uh, does not mean that, oh, I, you know, I, I've sinned, I've com co committed, a, 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 you know, the sin. But it's when we, you know, because we're going to be tempted. We are going to be tempted, you know, some, you know, sometimes. We, we are still here on this earth, but it's up to us to continue to be aware of that. And what, as, as we are continuing our journey and being aware of that all of those old things are falling off that you should not still I mean if you are somebody who's been born again a year six months three months five years the things that you struggled with it before you were born again and at the and when you first became born again you should not still be struggling with the same things we should be moving forward. We should be growing. Those should not, our, just those small things, those not small things, excuse me, those things should not still be the thing, the things that, that are uh, 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 affecting us. We should be growing and learning, maturing, and again, wanting to please God, wanting to glorify Him. In 
every part of our life. Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all of your, your mind, your body, your soul, your strength. All of our life should be glorifying God. Your body should be glorifying God, right? Your spirit, your soul, everything in us, every fiber of our being should be glorifying God. So, so yeah, but, but I wanted to encourage us, you, you, you must examine yourself. You must know and see the things that we are, you know, that we are doing. And realize, okay, this is not something I should be doing. So I need to stop doing it. You have to stop doing it. You have to submit it to God. Lord, this is something that is troubling me. I want to, you know, I, I want to do it. Uh, but I don't want to do it against you. I don't want to sin against you. I don't want to sin against mankind. You know, my fellow man. So please help me with it. Submit it to him. And, you know, he is, you know, like I say, he won't make you, but he will make you aware. You will make you, he will make you aware when you, when you want to do it, he'll, you know, you know, you know, you'll get a, a nudge that it's not the right thing to do. You remember, okay, this is not the right thing to do. But as you go along Things are falling off of us every day. You know, we're being sanctified. We're being cleansed daily because some of us, you know, we're being processed. Some of us, because we, we've, we've come from somewhere. I mean, if we've been sinners for 30 years and all of a sudden now we're born again, that's a whole new change of life. But you don't think, don't ever think that, okay, God is going to, you know, take his fuller brush and, and his soap and clean us like we're and then all of a sudden, the, you know, we're now we're sparkling and whatnot and <clears throat> sparkling clean. It doesn't happen like that. It's a process. But it doesn't mean that we willfully sin. We don't willfully sin. And we don't willfully expect that God is going to stop us from willfully sinning. <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to come on and say that because uh, sometimes, you know, people think that, you know, they're, they're, they think that they're waiting on God and, and God is waiting on us. <laughs> so I love you very much and I hope this was helpful to someone. All right then, have a good day. Bye-bye for now.